Hi guys, Kevlar here. Today we are going through how to install the Leon Lee Plus streamer version 2. We've got the motherboard cable and the GPU cable. We'll get them installed. I've already done an unboxing and a review of these and a comparison to the version 1s. There'll be a link to that video up there or there, wherever it appears. Let's get these ones installed. Right, we'll do the motherboard cable first because this one is the one I have going underneath. I've already swapped out the clip here so they come with a black one but then they give you an option to swap it out for white which will be good for my white case fairly straightforward really i mean this side plugs into your cable from your power supply because these are extension cables obviously they don't go directly into your psu under there it plugs into your cables from the power supply which i've already got poking out here ready all right so that's firmly clipped in this i need to feed through the back ready to plug into the controller and I already mentioned in my review video, these ones are a lot more flexible and bendy than the old versions. So this should bend around quite nicely to plug into my socket on the motherboard, which that clipped in really nicely. Okay, now for the GPU cable, same. I've managed to change the clips here to white ones instead of black ones that came with it. Now I want it going that way which is perfect because that's the way these are already placed with the clips at the bottom but if you want it going a different way like that you can unclip all of this and swap it around you can move it around so you can take the actual lighting off of the actual cables and then swap it around so they can go be pointing up the other way so that's handy but first of all i'm going to feed this side through up the top there so again, I can plug my GPU cables from my power supply into here. Let's feed that through first for the controller connection. Feed those through. Okay, so that's all fed through ready. And then that I'm gonna plug in down there. I'm just gonna plug the cables in at the back first. Please do forgive the cable mess. That's kind of what you get stuck with when you have got so much bloody RGB. Right, so let's plug these in. They slot in really nice and easy. Okay, back to the front. Let's get these clipped into the GPU. Again, always a bit fiddly with these, with the, the cable split, but I quite like that these are separate. So it's a bit easier to do one by one. Okay, there's one. Okay, they're in. Now, one thing I would say actually is the fact that they are separated and not all tied together. I think it's going to be harder to make them look all lined up and neat. I mean, these clips were on there, but they fall off really easily. Yeah, that's that's okay. But they are a bit staggered, aren't they? Whereas before they were like rigidly together. And then the other one fell off as well while I was doing it. So let's clip that up here. But that's fine. I think that's in place quite nicely. Right, okay. So back around the back, we've now got these two cables, which will plug into the controller. So the motherboard one, which will be this bottom one, goes in the end here. Okay, it's nicely in place. Then the GPU one, so you've got two options. So if you've got the smaller GPU cable, so the one with just two cables, two eight pins, you've got a slot for that one. And for this one with the three eight pins, you've got a slot this side. Make sure I'm getting it the right way around. Plug that in. Then you've got a switch there, so we need to switch to say we're using that one. Okay, they will just about reach because that's where I had my last one. So I'm going to plug that in there. Got SATA power here. Let's plug that in. I'm not going to stick it all in yet. I want to make sure it works. Okay, so it's got some power. Then we've got two options for actually plugging it in to the PC as such. So you can control it. We've got this one. So the ARGB, which will plug in the end here. And then either into your ARG motherboard slot or what i'm going to do is what i did with my previous ones is i've got an adapter here argb to a corsair led i'm going to hope that that works or the other option you've got a usb so again plugs into the controller into usb and then that's obviously how you would control it using the lee and lee software so fingers crossed i'm first of all going to use my adapter plug that in there and hope that that gets recognized now in iq right Let's plug it all in, turn it on, see what happens. Right, okay, it's all plugged in, let's turn it on, see what happens. Okay, so immediately I'm seeing no lights on the streamer cables. Hopefully, once we get in, 
and hopefully we can find it on IQ and get it working. Right, okay, so I'm in IQ. It's recognizing my lighting node, channel two, but the cables aren't lighting up. Let's see if we can change some settings, device settings. Just try a mixture of different topics. Right, no, it doesn't, it doesn't like it. Right, let's try and connect it via the USB and see if it will pick it up via USB, but I don't think it will because it's not a Corsair device. Right, so I've now plugged it in using USB. They're coming on. Okay, so they obviously work via USB. Now the question is, will I be able to control them in IQ? I think the answer is going to be no. Okay, so we're in IQ and yeah, there's no devices showing up. So at the moment, my answer is I don't think I can control that by IQ. I'm going to log in, get into the Leon Lee software, but to be honest with you, I'm okay with it like that because I always have this rainbow effect on anyway. So it does still match the rest of my PC. It's a bit disappointing that I can't do it like I did last time. Right, okay, so here we are. So still the Leon Lee L Connect 3 software, which looks pretty decent. For me, I'm happy because I have it on this rainbow wave anyway, so it looks like it's matching the rest of the PC. But yeah, I can't, I can't get it to connect via IQ. If anyone finds a way, let me know. But yeah, taking a look at it, I think it looks nice. I think the lights look a bit brighter, a bit clearer. You seem to be able to do quite a lot on here, but I think an annoying thing is you have to play around with it and then press apply. You can't just see it as you play around with it, which is a bit annoying. You can do some different modes here for a nice easy mode select rather than messing around too much with loads of settings. So I can't really do a proper comparison against my old ones because I can't get the exact same modes but I'll put a side by side up anyway and try and match them up a little bit so we can kind of gauge the quality of the light a bit. Right so there we go it's all installed that's how to install it it's not hard you got the two options USB or ARGB cable to the motherboard. USB get to use the Leon Lee software which I've just shown and obviously you can use your motherboard software but yeah can't work out how to get it to connect or to link up with IQ so that's a downer compared to the version 1 which I could work out how to do that if someone knows how let me know there might be a solution coming up at some point and we'll find out I'll keep an eye out but for now I'm happy because I have it on rainbow anyway and it all looks like it's synced up using the Lee and Lee software for the streamers. So there's a comparison of the two, obviously using the Lee and Lee software for the new ones and IQ for the old ones, so I haven't got the exact same lighting modes. But I think the Lee and Lee streamer plus twos do look a bit crisper. The lighting does look a bit better quality. And I do like the fact that you got the lighting around the edge, which is quite cool. But yeah, I hope you found that useful. Shame we couldn't get a solution to work it via IQ, but we've got it installed. Please do give us a like and subscribe if not already done so, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.